we need to stay in here tonight. Oh, this is pimp. Look at this shit. There's any drawing of the file still in here. That's the window I was outside of a minute ago. Steel. Old kettle files. It's disgusting. I'm not touching any of it. A big cut on my hand. Jaguar don't like to live in here. No, no. They're trapped. Look, look. See, if I was a Jaguar, I could get him right now. It's a, it's a natural funnel for deer and Jaguars. Could just jump on them. He can't get out. He's trapped. Exactly. Hey. You're scaring me, Jay. Let me go first. You don't know how to get out of here. Stop. Get in the car. Look at me. Look at me. Make eye contact with me. Calm down. Keep the camera straight. Calm down. You're slow. Down. You're a bit scared. Up the stairs, please. Jay, come on. Jay, come on. Jay, come on. Jay, come on. Right. 
is solid metal. This must have been where they kept the hospital people an open cubicle hospital. Sale. This is the hospital. A little less secure than the cells that we've been in that kept Geronimo here. mental institution for the third night we're going to get video footage of the mountain lion while we're shooting a documentary but every night the train comes by and for the last two nights there hasn't been any lights out here and now there's a blinking light over the top of that tree we've been out here for the last two nights we haven't noticed it has it been here? Now it's here. Sometimes it goes out and then it comes right back again. About 5.50, just getting up. Been on top of the hospital all night, staying away from the mountain lines. Hey, how many hours of sleep did you get? Or should I say minutes of sleep? <laughs> I got about five minutes of all night. Five minutes of sleep. Moon's still up. Let me know if y'all see anything in those windows. I just went in that building and had my phone going. It didn't record shit. I just went all through that side and I don't think it recorded nothing. <laughs> Talking about creepy. The recorder didn't record. It's about to get dark. Spent the night in this building a couple of nights in a row. It's a cold breeze coming from in there. I feel it.
I need to get another tetanus shot for sure. He's in there. Said to the hospital. Mold so strong it's burning my eyes in here. There's a peacock. There's the loose peacock. I finally see one right on top of the roof right there. Peacock. Peacock on the roof right there. When I saw it. I'm going in alone. He's on another building. It's got bars on every window. certain seal it stands out from any of these other ones it's more fortified than any of these
all sales. You could smell the mold in here. It's burning your eyes almost. Look at that wall, man. I'll chop a bath. I'll chop a path, chill. There's the fridge. Open it. It's badass, baby. We did it. Alright, good. We're good. We got plenty of water. We're safe. You're with me. Turn your light off. Explorer. You're a trooper. Hey, book that's a high five. Into the fray, my baby, first time. <laughs> Look at that old brick wall. That was a military base wall. And then they built these in early 1900s with the red brick. And the white brick building with the line was built in 1826. We just went in the basement. Look at the top of that other building over there. About going back into history, walking. Look at this. As far as I can see, Kudzu's taking everything over. Line Tower. I'll never forget that night. I don't know where Matt's at again. I keep exploring by myself. school shit right there electric motor stairs are rickety there's some men they're about to shake they're shaking
gets in here. You have to hike three miles to get in. Two hundred year old structure. cell door with lead paint everywhere. You're with me, don't worry. Talk about some old cell doors. These are lockers that they kept their belongings in. The cell cell doors. This is all you had, man. Look how small it is. Poor crazy bastard would go even more crazy in here. Look at this shit. Yeah, well, at least the thing they haunted is nothing compared to a lion. Graffiti were the first. Watch this. Look how tight squeeze this is. I get, I'm hitting sides. Look, I'm touching the side. I'm, look how I'm touching the sides. I'm going to do here. It's only like two feet wide from here. Look at my machete. Poor bastards, man, that were in here. I'm not going crazy. If they're already crazy, I'd stay in this shit. Oh, that was not an easy climb. Whew. Feet are killing. Careful. All right. Give me my gear. Nice crack, but <laughs> oh god, you're a trooper. You really pulled through.
sliced me up pretty good. track right there the two claws together but that's a mountain lion track right there see the difference coyote's got two claws to touch no line big pads i had to leave matt that's I, number one rule i have is don't split up from me if you do you're on your own always keep up with me he split up and he's on his own we meet back up at the rendezvous spot. Hopefully he'll make it. If you heard what I heard the other day, you would have every bit of protection you have open right now. We've been out here three nights ever since. We heard that in the tower, getting video footage of him. He's a big one too. First one sighted in 120 years in our area. It lives in a fucking tower. How about that? Cell. This is where the big door was hanging. They took it off. It's in a museum now. This was where they kept him. This is the only window he had to see out of. He had his own bathroom. millions of dollars. Folks, that's where Geronimo was kept. That was a risky building to get into just then. I'm the first explorer ever to video it. Mount Vernon, Cersei. What do you remember about the stay up there? I stayed up there a couple months and uh, they all kind of Told me I was bullheaded and I was going to do what I wanted to do and stuff like that. And, uh, but what I'm trying to say is when I was up there, be at night, 
all of a sudden the lights would go to flicker and stuff and they go dim and I was thinking they were giving them people job treatments and stuff like that up there because they had some pretty rough people up there and uh, I think they were uh, doing job treatments and uh, the next day you get up and the There'd be like two or three people in the dormitory that just never did show back up. They never did, never seen them after that. So I figured they were doing brain surgery and shit to them people up there. Cause then I don't know about them doctors up there in surgery. They all crazy anyway up there. Some some dark secrets going on up there, yeah. wasn't it? And uh, I don't know how many graves they got up there. I mean, back there in the back, it's just full of graves. I heard about that unmarked graves. They all over, all over. When you get up there, you'll see them. They just get back. I, I found a lot of them, but they only put on record there's 250 back there. And I've talked to a bunch of people up in Mount Vernon recently. They said it's over 2,000. Well, did they, were they still talking about Geronimo? When you were up there? Yeah, they told me he was in the tower up there. And he stayed there till what, 63 when he died? And uh, I don't know what happened to him. But uh, I wouldn't doubt if they done shot treatments on him too. Because them people up there were crazy anyway. They did a lot of unethical stuff, didn't they? I don't think they did. You were like the Jack Nicholson guy up there that tried to get out of the work farm and go up there, weren't you? Well, I went up there because dude sent me up there. That's a good way to go, get up there and, and get out from the work farm and stuff. But you know how a lot of people that didn't have families, that's the ones you think that did the shock treatments on? I don't know. I'm, like I said, oh, you just see the damn lights go flickering at night and they go real dim. And uh, the next day, there'd be a couple of people missing out of the dormitory. No doubt they got thrown in Potter's Field, covered up, and forgot about. I guess. I don't know. That's crazy, man. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, thanks man. God bless. All right. You too.